Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the eating pattern that I followed that helped me lose most of the weight that I gained during my pregnancy. So let's get started. Tip number one, drink a tall glass of water 20 minutes before each meal. To be exact, that is 500 ml of water before breakfast, lunch and dinner. This really helps because the amount of food that you usually eat will not be needed this time to reach that feeling of fullness and satiety. This might look like a very simple tip but please try it out because it is very very useful. Now let's move to tip number two. For every meal that you eat, take a plate, preferably a color that is contrasting to the food that you eat and make sure to divide it into these sections. Whatever food that you're going to be having that day, fill this section with vegetable based recipes. For me today it is sauteed cabbage and carrot. Fill this section with your carb. I'm going to be having this healthy boiled brown rice and dedicate this section for protein. And here I have my spinach dal curry. Follow this pattern for every meal for one month to see beautiful results in weight loss. Now let's go to the next tip. Tip number three. Try to stay away from your laptops and cell phones while you eat. Leave all such distractions away and start connecting your body with the food in front of you. Enjoy it with all your senses and relish each bite. Haha, <laughs> that can be difficult when you have a baby in tow. As research has shown that bringing all your senses to the color, aroma, texture and even the sound when you chew the meal is the best practice one can adopt towards healthy and mindful eating. Now let's move to the next tip. Tip number four, try to keep snacks and sugary treats away from your sight. Especially if you're a mom, you would have these sugary snacks and sweets and treats at your home. Because when we have kids at home, we'll have all these things too. And we all have a tendency to grab one when it is at your arm's reach. So next time, better keep it inside the boxes inside the cupboards. Tip number five, attend to your craving. Pay attention to your body when a craving hits. So next time when you crave for those sugary, greasy foods that we all know is not so good for you, try drinking a glass of water. Probably you were just thirsty. Try it out. Or else reward yourself with something else. Probably some good music. Try distracting yourself guys. Probably you will feel much better. But then don't deny your craving and your body, what your body tells you every single time. Because the more you're forbidden, the more you feel tempted. Occasionally indulge in that dark chocolate or anything that you like and savor each bite guilt free. Because you know, sometimes we are all worth it. Now it's time to get to our last tip. Tip number six, keep track of your healthy snacks. Keep your so-called healthy snacks in a ziplock or pouch for each day. Don't get into trouble by munching them out of those huge containers and big packets because at the end these are all calorie dense too. So these were the tips that helped me a lot and if you commit towards this eating pattern I hope this will be helpful if you are looking towards shedding those extra pounds away. So thank you so much for watching and thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.